Uh, welcome to your gold market update for today, Thursday, the 6th of October 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to take you around what's happening today in markets. Of course, overnight we had US equities close just below neutral, but that didn't tell the whole story. We actually opened significantly lower, uh, the NASDAQ almost down 1.5% at its low, uh, but managed to uh, recover most of that, uh, all but a few points suggesting that there was some buying coming in as soon as markets dropped a little bit. All continues to be in the news as OPEC Plus agreed significant production costs. Uh, that has pushed all higher, as we'll talk about in a moment. US futures are higher in early Asian trading and Asian indices are mixed. The ASX is near neutral at this stage, down about 0.1%, but materials and energy stocks are both outperforming. European equity futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. And in the FX world, the US dollar index paused yesterday and moved up from support. It is slightly lower today. A little bit of strength in the Aussie dollar and a little bit of weakness in the yen also of note. Gold's paused around that 1725 resistance we referenced yesterday. And oil has moved up to around about $95 on the Brent crude contract CFD, which represents around about 5% over the last couple of days on that OPEC news. Copper is looking strong also, has moved to around about one month highs over that 350 key resistance. And the VIX is edging down to 28. But of course, we do have some key data coming out over the next couple of days, which may be on market minds a little bit. And also, of course, we're not that far from US earnings season start within a few days. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, broke at the top of the range. It's been trading for some time to trade above 20,000 yesterday. It did retest that and consequently has bounced again and is around about that 2300 level. So not evidence yet of significant buying pressure coming into this, but worth watching undoubtedly. US weekly jobs are the highlight today. We've also got Euro monetary policy accounts report and Euro retail sales. Those also are going to be noteworthy when they're released, particularly to the Euro. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. And let's start with the Aussie yen. You can see this 30 minute chart. We have had a sharp move up in Asian trading. We're keeping an eye on around this 94.78 level. If we just take it out a little bit to the four hourly chart, you can see why this level is important. It was support along here and resistance here. So this could be a key level and subsequently could offer some 70 pips or so to the upside so should we get a break on the asx as we said mineral stocks are booming in some places particularly the specialist mineral stocks uh, we look at IGO, igo here who have a nickel copper and lithium exposure from memory you can see a big push over this 15 dollar mark trading towards the high of a session this represents all-time highs as you can see there but these stocks just keep on going up PLS is very similar. Lion Town Resources also doing very well. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.